Hey everyone, it's Sue here. I just wanted to have a seat here and play a little bit in my most favorite, favorite black journal. Um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I really love the base of this page right here. Um, it happened to be, you know how, like when you mix up you know, like maybe some type of a medium with some paint and you have leftover paint. Well, you know, and whatever. So you have the leftover and that's what this is. This is actually leftover from something else I was working on. And what it is, is actually the, um, the crackle paste that I had put this teal color. I'm pretty sure it's Dina Wakely, um, paint that I put in here. And so, you know, you don't want to throw it out. So this was one of the, the pages that I put it on, knowing that I would go back at some point and, um, you know, and do something with it. So I am hoping not to cover the whole beautiful base here, this, which is just lovely. But, um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. We will see where it goes. You know, I have a whole bunch of stuff out here. Um, this is, um, um, a receipt that I actually jelly plated on. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. You know, if you know me, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just pull out colors that I think look nice together and stuff that I want to use. I have some washi tape here um, from a swap that I was in last month. So I want to pull some of that into. And, you know, with using my iPad and only being able to record for 15 minutes or else I can't upload it to YouTube. <laughs> So I just try to hurry just a little bit, um, just to get it all down. And you know what? You shouldn't think about it too much anyway. Right? Right. So the only thing is, when I do this whole 15 minute thing, um, oh, look how pretty this is. But this is from Fran. Oh, Fran, thank you. Loving it, loving it. Love, love, love. Um, now I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> Does that happen, you guys? <laughs> this paper got me so excited, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh my goodness, silly, right? You know what? I'm, I think I might just cover the whole thing up. But you know what, it's cool because you can see through some of the papers, right? Because like this is a napkin, that's the napkin, tissue paper, tissue paper. Um, so once you get it down and you put a matte medium over it, it just really, you can see right through it. Which is one reason why I really enjoy using a tissue paper for for this type of, of a collage and collaging is my favorite it is my go-to thing I don't know if it's because I enjoy playing I you know I don't know what I don't know what it is but I love it I absolutely love um, doing the collages. Love it, love it, love it. My favorite, by far. Uh, let's see. You know what, I think I'm going to take, let me take another little piece of this. You know, I try not to have straight edges. So that's why you see me like tearing the straight edges off. It just gives it a little bit of a softer look and feel. And I hope I'm not shaking my camera too much. I hope not. 
Um, and I'm just using some Mod Podge, which I have um, in a different container. Just because I bought like this huge thing of Mod Podge and gesso. So it's like I can't even keep those out because they're so big. But they'll last me for a while now. So it was worth it. I got good deals on them. I got good deals. Okay, I think I'm going to put one more piece up top here. And, and that's going to be it for this part of it. So now this particular piece, I am leaving that straight edge up on the top just because it was going on the edge. I don't always do that. I mean, as you can see, I have stuff I have to cut off, and I'm fine with that too. Either way works. Okay, so now at this point, it's pretty wet. So you know what I think I'm going to do? Oh, and I was just using my Cricut spatula, which works really well for that. Um, so what I want to do now is... Um, let me remove all this stuff. Is since it's wet, I did pull out. You know what? Before, <laughs> I think I'm going to use some washi tape from Carol. Carol, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, if this doesn't pull off nicely from this wax paper, that is okay because I do have a very wet page here. So I like to put things at angles. It just gives it, you know, a little bit more interest. So I'm gonna peel off another piece. And what Carol did here, now see this piece isn't coming off as well, but like I said, it's okay if it doesn't. I'm just going to tear that whole baby. And then I'm just going to tear off this. Perfect. Lovely, wonderful, easy, easy peasy. Um, what's cool about this particular washi tape is that it has... You know the circles on it you see the circles see like the circles from like the tops of containers and such well that was something I wanted to do on this page I pulled out all of my tops that I keep in here so I have a nice assortment of different sizes I also pulled out some of my um, Oh, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? This stuff. Um, oh, gosh. I, I'll i think of it. I'll think what it's called. Okay. So, now again, because this is really very wet. Mica flakes. Mica flakes. Mica flakes. That's what this is. And it's kind of like a silver color. So, I'm just going to kind of do this around it. And I'm just going to do that. I mean, I can tell it's very wet and that it'll stick. It may not look like it's going to stick. Look, it's even sticking to my fingers um, because the page is wet. So I'm just going to move it around with my fingers just to make sure I get it in the really wet spots so it doesn't fall off. And you know what? If it ends up to where it's not sticking that well, I just throw some hairspray on it and call it done. Okay, so that's the mica. Let me see where we are at, and I'll lift this up, and we're just over nine minutes. So this is where we are at so far. So you can see all the mica flakes. Look at them shine. Look at the awesome washi tape that Carol handmade. Loving it. Loving it so far. Okay, so... What I think I'm going to do at this point, see, what I really want to do is take this, which does anybody recognize this? You know what this is, and I'm ashamed to say this. This is an exercise mat <laughs> that I cut. And I cut it because look at the awesome texture. Um, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I think, I think, I don't know, I have my archival ink out here, and I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. So I'm using different pieces of this so that when I put it down in my ink, I'm not getting my ink wet. And then I can just clean this off because I don't want to ruin my ink pad. But I don't really have time to dry it because of, you know, the 15 minutes that I have. Okay, you know what, I think I'll just do one more down here. Okay, so that just gets some of the black paint on there. And I'm gonna actually put that right into my water so it starts, so that it starts to, uh, you know, start coming off. I don't want that to stick on there, the uh, Mod Podge. Okay, um, I think the last thing, or one of the last things that I'm going to do is put some, what color paint, what color paint? Let's pull out some Dina Wakely. I always love her yellow and the sky. I mean, you can't go wrong. Sorry, I had them upside down. And all I do is put a little bit out on the table and go ahead and get the edge of the top, get paint on it, and go to town. Do some circles. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm shaking that. I'm sorry. I'll go slower. And you can put as many or as little, as few as you would like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab some yellow. And then, for now, I think we are going to call it done. I will probably put um, some sentiment on here, probably scripture. So I'll look for a scripture that, you know, speaks to me today, you know, with, with Thanksgiving coming. And not that I need Thanksgiving to come to to be thankful, but I think I'm just even a little bit more thankful. So that's with all of the circles. And you know what? I have enough time. I have this, which I've shared before. I got from, from um, the dollar store. And uh, knowing that I was going to, you know, definitely tear stuff apart. Okay, I like this. This. Actually, you know, they're all good, right? They are all good. So I'm going to go with this scripture right here. Since I have the time, we're just over 13 minutes. Ah, how am I going to tear this? Ah! Sorry, I don't mean to rush so much. Okay, so now we have to figure out where we want to put this. You know what? I don't want to go right in the middle. Maybe I'll, go, I'll do that right there. In the middle, but slanted. So what I'll do, well, I'm going to put down more Mod Podge underneath and on top so that it sticks. And you can see paint is getting on top of it. And I'm way cool with that. In fact, I would put some on there anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this all off. I will come with maybe this paint pen right here that I got from uh, Walmart, which is gold. So once it's all dry, I'll go around, maybe I'll even go around with the black as well. And um, I'm, go I'm going to make this scripture pop. So that's about it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And there you go. Bye-bye. And here is the finished page. I did um, add a flower. I outlined the scripture. I put um, some black circles within the big yellow circles. And of course, I put my white splatter. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.